today at Crest Canyon, surrounded by coastal sage scrub habitat, all here within the city of San Diego. In 1993, the coastal California gnatcatcher was listed as a federally endangered species. This bird nests right here in coastal sage scrub habitat, which is a dominant habitat within the city of San Diego. The city of San Diego, in coordination with the agencies that oversee wildlife protection, surrounding cities, and the county, began the preparation of a regional multiple species conservation program, or more commonly known as the MSCP. As a result, in 1997, the city adopted its own planning area. This planning area allows the city to grow through a local permitting process while creating a preserve system that allows the protection of native habitats and species. This preserve system is known as a multi-habitat planning area, or the MHPA. The benefits to the city's MHPA are to preserve wildlands for future generations, to provide passive recreational and educational opportunities, and to ensure that sensitive biological resources are respected through the development process. Today we're monitoring Lysingia, which is Del Mar sand aster. It's part of the aster family and it grows both here in Crest Canyon and also at our preserves on Carmel Mountain and Del Mar Mesa and along some open space areas near Overlook Drive in Torrey Highlands. So as part of my job as a biologist at, in the Park and Rec Department, I visit about uh, 35 different sites every year and monitor 20 different species. The species can be affected by off-trail use, by drought, insects, too frequent of fire. We document how many species are at the site and the quality, the condition of the site. And then we share that information with the rangers uh, so that we can make good long-term management strategies for each species at each site. The City of San Diego Park Rangers are a critical part of the implementation of the MSCP. Rangers patrol the parks, they make visitor contacts, they restore habitat, and they maintain trails. Some of the ways city park rangers help to implement the MSCP in open space are through public contacts, making educational contacts, uh, providing for uh, educational materials such as the interpretive panel behind me. Some other projects that rangers might work on are like the staircase that uh, is behind us here that leads from Durango Drive down to the base of Crest Canyon. Uh, the staircase is important because it helps to focus the, where the visitors to Crest Canyon travel and it's also helped to, to provide a safe access down to the, the canyon floor. So one of the things we work on are, uh, again, native plantings here. This project is being tended to by a uh, dedicated staff of volunteers. Uh, all these blue flags that you see along the path are native plants and uh, they're going to grow up and in front of them is going to be a little plaque that, that basically again helps to educate the public in a passive way as to uh, what type of plant is growing here and we have some information in the kiosk that basically talks about using a lot of the native plants in, uh, in people's home landscaping because of the water savings. City MSCP staff, the city biologists and city park rangers compile and exchange data on use patterns of humans and wildlife in order to determine best management strategies for the long-term preservation and protection of open space lands and ultimately the success of the MSCP. And remember, these are your lands, so come out and enjoy and contribute to the stewardship of protecting these very valuable natural resources. <laughs>